So your performance actually starts to decline once you've been dehydrated one or 2%. You get a 10% performance decline with 2% dehydration. So if you're 200 pounds, that means if you lose like four-ish pounds, your performance is gonna drop 10%. So you can lift 10% less, you can run 10% slower if you've only lost like four pounds, which is so common for someone who's 200 pounds. Um, and today in the video, I want to go over why I would choose an electrolyte drink and why most of these here on this table, I probably wouldn't touch for hydration. So sweat is usually, about one liter of sweat has usually close to a thousand milligrams of sodium and about the same amount of chloride and then about 400 milligrams of potassium. There's also some of the other electrolytes that come out in our sweat, but the amounts there are so negligible that like usually through other supplements or through our diet, we can kind of replenish those levels throughout the day. So in my opinion, they don't matter as much when we're talking rehydration with an electrolyte mix. So really what we're trying to focus on is our sodium to potassium ratio. Okay, so when I'm looking at electrolyte drinks, there are a few things that I look at. One, I look at how much sugar is in them. Two, I think about how they taste. Do I like how they taste? And three, and probably most importantly, I look at the sodium to potassium ratio. So first I wanted to talk about body armor. Body armor tastes so good, but unfortunately there is only 40 milligrams of sodium and there is 700 milligrams of potassium. Okay, the worst one of all is Prime. I've heard a ton about this. I haven't tried it. Everyone says it tastes really great. There's only 10 milligrams of sodium to 700 milligrams of potassium. So basically drinking this, although it tastes good, you're probably upping your fluid, um, that increased potassium is pulling more water out of your cells, dehydrating you further, and making you pee more. So this is like one of the worst things you could drink during a workout, after a workout. Um, there's nothing that I really specifically love about like Powerade or Gatorade. Um, their ratios are pretty similar. Um, they're not as bad as like Prime. There's 240 milligrams of sodium to I think 80 milligrams of potassium. So that comes in at like a 3.2 ratio where it should be closer to like a 2.5. Um, the one thing is there is just a ton of sugar in this in order to replenish like the amount of sodium and potassium that you'd need, you'd have to drink like an obscene amount of calories from this sugar and your stomach would just get so upset. It wouldn't feel good. So if I'm in a pinch and I haven't brought electrolytes anywhere with me, um, probably one of my favorite options from the gas station or somewhere quick would be a Gator Light um, or a Gator Light Zero. So these guys have 490 milligrams of sodium and 350 milligrams of potassium. And this is the best ratio that I've found like at a gas station. So you add a little bit more sodium to this, like one or two salt packets, and you have like a really great electrolyte ratio in these things. Okay, another drink option is Propel. Uh, this has the same ratio as Powerade and Gatorade, but there's no sugar in it. So it's, I would never drink it, but if you like the taste of it, maybe you could try it and then have something real later. <laughs> One that I'm super bummed about, cause I really like is coconut water. So coconut water has about naturally about 60 milligrams of sodium to 470 milligrams of potassium. So it's really not a great sodium to potassium ratio as far as replenishing electrolytes goes. Um, but again, it's really easy to add salt to things. So taking like maybe a salt pill with one of these, um, if you're like in an endurance race or something, I think would be enough to kind of even out the playing field on the potassium to sodium ratio. Another great one from a gas station is Revitalite or Pedialyte. There's 610 milligrams of sodium to 460 milligrams of potassium, which honestly isn't really ideal. But again, if you're in a pinch and you need to just grab something from the gas station, 
snagging like a Pedialyte or Revitalite would be super helpful for just replenishing things quickly. Um, another good one for just grabbing something quick from the gas station would be Pedialyte or Revitalite. These ones are super similar to the Gatorlite ratios. It is 610 milligrams of sodium to 460 milligrams of potassium. Um, if I were in a pinch and needed to grab something at a gas station, I'd probably just throw a salt packet in here, maybe two, and call it good. So Liquid IV has a pretty good ratio of sodium to potassium. I'd like to see a little bit more sodium personally, um, 510 milligrams of sodium to 380 milligrams of potassium. This one does have a little bit of sugar in it as well, which does help the absorption of electrolytes and rehydrating you. So this would be a good option. I see these in gas stations all the time now. So I would probably grab this over anything else. These salt stick chews are really popular in the running and biking world. Um, two of these chews has 30 milligrams of potassium and 100 milligrams of sodium, it says. So you kind of have to down, the ratio is awesome, the ratio is great, but you kind of have to down quite a lot of them to get like an optimal amount of electrolytes. But if you're just chewing them like every 20, 30 minutes, that should be pretty easy on your stomach. And then you can like take water along with it. I think they're a great option. So my favorite electrolyte mix and the one that's closest to our sodium potassium ratio in our sweat is Relight by Redmond Salt. There is 800 milligrams of sodium to 400 milligrams of potassium. This is like by far my favorite. I use it on every single one of my runs. Tastes great. I don't, there's not a single flavor that I don't like. Yeah, I would choose this one over any other mixture. So I found a bunch of random electrolyte mixes at local stores and gas stations just to try um, hydrant, hydrate, Cure, and Ultima. And honestly, looking at the nutrition facts, they look maybe more like vitamin mixtures to me than electrolyte supplements. The sodium to potassium ratios really aren't that great. And there's no sugar in them. Some of them taste pretty good, but I probably wouldn't waste my time or money on them again, just because they don't have a great electrolyte profile. So Pedialyte has a sport mixture that I found. There is uh, 650 milligrams of sodium to 600 potassium, which puts that at almost a one-to-one -one ratio, which really is not what we're looking for. So I probably wouldn't buy this one either. All right, another electrolyte mixture that I like is LMNT. That one has 1,000 milligrams of sodium to 200 milligrams of potassium. Um, I don't use it just because I am a particularly like potassium heavy sweater. And if I don't uh, replenish potassium just like a little bit more than that, then I find myself getting like muscle cramps or whatever. And there are a lot of other brands in the endurance community, like Heat is really popular, Tailwind is popular, um, and those have pretty good ratios of sodium to potassium. Um, I think usually one packet suggests that you dissolve it in like 16 ounces of water, but that makes it like pretty diluted. So I would probably like half that or maybe put it in 12 ounces of water or something just to get a little bit more sodium for the amount of water that you're drinking. Okay, so a quick summary of my top three electrolyte products, starting with my third is the Gatorlite. I really like Gatorlite because it is everywhere. If I forget to bring something with me, I can just stop at any gas station and grab it. It also tastes great, so I want to drink it. My second favorite are these Electrolyte Fast Chews by Salt Stick. I like these because they're really customizable to what you need. So if you're running for like an hour, you probably don't need as much sodium as you would need if you're running for like two or three hours. So I think these are a great option for replenishing electrolytes. And my top product is Relight by Redmond Salt. This one is my favorite because it has the ideal electrolyte ratio. I love the flavors. 
Um, I like the convenience of the mini packets. And I also really like that they include some magnesium and calcium in there as well. Um, the ingredients are all super great and I would choose this over any other product as of right now. There's more information on hydration and my favorite products on my website. If you're interested, there will be a link in the description.